Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We got a good one for you today. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. All right. Uh, we're going to get into uh, Mark Chamberlain and Gavin Gwynn by request. I didn't know there'd be so many requests to do this fight, so I'm going to drop this video on it. We're less than 24 hours out from that fight, but uh, we're going to go live with it. We're going to try to get it out as much as we can Uh but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble, but if y'all do, I use DraftKings. Uh, pretty good odds. It's fair odds. It's a good book. Uh, it's it's user-friendly. It's good to use. Um, I am losing my brain. Uh, so. Also, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. We're getting a lot of memberships. We're gonna start. I'm gonna try to start at Discord so we can all talk on the Discord as well. Um, we're gonna get that going. So join the Patreon. You get for just five dollars a month. Just five dollars a month. You get the lock of the week. You get the uh, ask me anything. You can have me handicap any fight you want, and you can um, get the free T-shirt and a ton of other perks as well. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's. This is getting annoying. All right, let's get into today's show. <clears throat> Mark Chamberlain. 14-0, 10 knockouts. I think he's a decent prospect. Tall, rangy, shoots the straight left hand. Um, he's not afraid to lead with it. He'll he'll lead with the straight left. I, I like the way he pops it out. He uses his jab as well. He's got a good jab. That's his best tool. He, he He's a tall guy that likes to fight going backwards, but he can come forward. He finishes he, – uh, like I said, he fights off the back foot. He's a little slow. Speed is not his friend. Speed is, is, is his glaring weakness, it, it appears. But he throws the, the, the straight, and he, and he throws it. He doesn't pull it. He throws it completely straight, which I, I like. So he can keep you at the distance he wants to with his jab, with his straight hand, uh, with his uh, straight left hand. He has a high IQ. He has a high ring IQ. He's not an easy guy to, to push around. He's not an easy guy to get on the inside on. He's done so far at this development of his career. He's an excellent uh, finisher. He's, he's, he's got good power shots, especially the, the, the rear uppercut. Really crisp, clean shot. Throws in good volume. Excellent variety in his combinations. You'll see him mix up combinations, throw throw different combinations. It's not the same thing over and over again. He mixes up his combination. He mixes up his attack. Like I said, he's a high ring He's a high IQ guy. He's a high IQ fighter. Got enough pop, especially on that left hand. He's got enough pop. I'll say that. You know, his record kind of indicates that 14 out 10 knockouts. I know at this stage of your career, it can be misleading, but his power is what his record suggests that it's not overwhelming, but it's, it's decent. It's respectable. The biggest flaw he's got, like I said, at the elite level, is he's going to be slow. He's going to be slow. So we have a guy who is slow and long and rangy and move backwards. He's going to be easy to counter and tag, and and that's generally his problem. Uh, I don't think it's going to be much of an issue with Gavin Gwynn because Gavin Gwynn's just a guy who likes to get on the inside. He's not particularly fast. Either. It's not like Gavin Gwynn is going to slip shots like Mike Tyson or Canelo and, and get on the inside. So I, I don't think we're going to see that exposed t tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow already. But Gwynn... That's his flaw. That's his weakness. At a high level, shorter guys can, can slip onto the inside and press him. Now, he's got decent skills on the inside, but it's not his strength. I really like how he he, he rips that straight left hand. I mean, I, that that is his his best shot. 
He blocks shots from a high guard. He's not a ton of lateral movement. You know, defensively, he's limited. Like I said, because of, because of his speed, he's not going to sit there and make you miss. He mostly, you know, picks off shots. And then he's basically looking to deliver the right hand, I'm sorry, the left hand in exchanges. And that's Mark Chamberlain. You know, he, he, he uses his height. He uses his reach. High IQ guy. He can, he can fight off the front foot, but first to fight off the back foot. Basically who he is. He's 14-0, 10 knockouts. He's a decent prospect. Don't know how high he will get, but he's got a ceiling to some degree. Gavin Gwynn, unfortunately, doesn't have much of a ceiling. Fun fighter. Tough guy. He's not particularly good. In his last fight against Emiliano Masilli, he was losing every round to a 47-year-old. A 47-year-old who's 47 just ran out of gas eventually, and, and, and that's what happened. This is what he is. Good. He's a come-forward fighter. He's slow and sloppy. He wants to get inside. He's not a big hitter. He's got two, two wins in a row by knockout, I think. So, I mean, that's something. But he's not a hitter. He's not a big puncher. He throws with good volume. Like he's a fun fighter. He's not boring to watch. He's just not particularly good. He's so easy to hit. He's so wide open and slow. And it's so easy to split his guard, throw right through, and and, and it's going to be target practice for an accurate puncher um, like Chamberlain. Like I said, Chamberlain likes to go backwards. And you got Gavin Gwynn, who's a slow, plodding, come forward fighter. I, I think this is pretty easy target practice for Gwynn. I mean, for uh, for Chamberlain. The one thing I do like about Gwynn is how he fights on the inside. Crisp, clean, not overwhelmingly hard, but crisp, clean shots, accurate shots on the inside. Offensively, you know what I'm saying? He was sloppy. I was talking about defensively. Offensively, on the inside, he throws some crisp, clean shots, but he just gets hit so much. And, you know, Chamberlain, I said, Chamberlain's not the biggest hitter in the world, but he's got enough power. You don't want him to hit you over and over again. There's just not enough movement. There's not enough head shots, and there's no slipping the head inside. So he's just going to eat shots. When he does get inside, he might be able to do some work, but he's not a big hitter, so he's not really going to break Chamberlain down or really make him pay. So, I, I mean, I really only see this fight going one way. I, I think this is pretty much one-way traffic for Chamberlain. I think Chamberlain dominates the fight and wins. The only question is, you know, does he stop him? Let's take a look at the odds and see how we're going to make some money on this fight. You know, the only thing they have ooh, is Mark Chamberlain, and the odds just got a little bit worse. Um, and I'm going to just take Chamberlain on the money line one and a half times. Like I said, Chamberlain... I kind of like Chamberlain, but I don't know, right? Like, it, it's a little bit of a risk. Um, if you if you look really, really want to hedge with something, I mean, if you really want to take a risk, I, I think this is a risk worth taking Chamberlain by KO, TKO, or DQ. I think it's a, it's a fair risk, but I'm just going to stick with Chamberlain on the money line one and a half times. A 150 bet makes us 50 bucks. I, I think this is a, a really safe bet. I like this. I don't think Gwynn is particularly good, so I'm just going to roll with Chamberlain. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the box. Let me know what you guys think. You guys, what do you guys, I mean, it's good odds, and I, I think we may get this, but, you know, Gwynn is a tough cookie. He's a tough customer, so I'm going to lay off this. I think this probably comes late. I'm going to lay off this. I'm just going to take Chamberlain on the money line one and a half times. I'm making 50 bucks on a $150 bet. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, Join the Patreon, get the lock of the week. Please like, share, and subscribe. I am losing my brain today. I can't find the box. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Follow the box and book in all forms of social media. Also, subscribe to the other town, Texas Boxing Scene. Remember, the Patreon, the link is in the description. Um, click at the link, join the Patreon, get the lock of the week. It doesn't cost you money, it makes you money. Plus, you get other perks. You can ask me a handicap fight, which you can make more money on. You get the free t shirt, which is worth more than five. 10 15 dollars itself so it doesn't cost money it makes money link is in the description join the patreon subscribe to the texas box and see it as well it is march 7th 2024 from texas to the world thank you and god bless don't miss a tweet post story or video 3d boxing is on twitter instagram and facebook hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the